Welcome to Abundant Life. Today on the homestead, I'm uh, I'm pretty excited. We're going to plant some corn. And so this year, Caleb come to me, and Gavi was, he's the only one of the boys that had any real experience during that time of, of, of having the gardens and everything. And, you know, he, he, he remembers what it was really like. And he come to me this year and said, Dad, I, I want some sweet corn. I want to plant some sweet corn. I'm like, heck yeah, let's have some sweet corn. It's been a while. So as long as uh, I teach him and he does a load of the work and I do the work, I think we're going to have a nice sweet corn plot this year. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, break time's over. Seems to happen a lot around here. Break time's over. So we've got our uh, got all the rows marked. You just saw that Caleb did a he did a real good job until that very last one. He veered off quite a bit, and I'm not a real perfectionist with my rows, but um, he kind of closed the gap, and so we we measured it out, and he's gonna have to remark that one because uh, the big thing is when we go to harvest, we run the tractor right down the middle of the road and we needed room for the tractor. But the other three rows, I tell you, I mean, they're, they're about as parallel with that edge as a walking human can get. So you did real good there, Caleb. You did real good. So next step we're going to do before we, get out, before we go out there, I'm going to let you know what we're going to do. We're going to take a hoe and the three the three good lines that you have marked you're just going to kind of drag that hoe through those lines and that's just to get the any clumps of dirt and, and anywhere that you stepped into the row and you're not going to dig down we don't want to go too far deep when we plant our seeds um, a lot of places will give you a lot of different numbers for how deep to plant your seeds i found between half one and a half inches and two inches it seems really good um, you can get away with one inch your corn will grow up faster but i think it doesn't have quite enough root system by the time it sprouts um, you can push it down to to about two and a half inches most of your corn will still sprout um, it'll come up later but it will have a better root system as it is it uh once by the time it sprouts once you get down to about three inches and deeper, you start losing a lot of your corn because the seed runs out of energy before, before, it, uh, before it gets any leaves up above the ground. So we're shooting for that inch and a half, two inches. So we're not gonna go much deeper, but we do wanna clean those, clean those rows out. That's a real quick job, those first three, three rows that you don't have to re really recut. You, you'll be able to do that in about five minutes. Now, when we come to it, you've got to re the, the row that you need to recut. We're going to start on this side. We don't want to start where you've got the lines already started and then going this way because you'll end up following them. We're going to start at this side and go that way, and we'll talk about that more when we get up there. So, we're going to, I'm going to show you what we got with the hoe here. If you're going to do some measuring too while we're out there, and this is the old hoe, and you can see I put a tape mark every every one foot on it, and that'll be that'll help with our rows and with laying our seed. Problem is this hoe this whole hoe's about as old as you are, and the head come loose, and we welded it once, and then it sat there for years and rusted through again, and so this old hoe's getting retired. When you said you want to do corn, we decided I decided I better get another one. Got another one, already got it marked up for you. So take this hoe. We're gonna go out here, we're gonna drag it, open up our lines, and then we'll get to planting seed. So take this in, have it like an angle, and then you just keep that thing behind you and you just walk down along the side of your row. And that's just making sure all any debris and crap. If you see trash like this, we'll just get yeah, that, yeah. try to get that out of the dirt. But keep this at an angle. You don't really want that whole wide Dad. cut. You just want that corner cutting down in there. 
inch and a half, two inches below the surface. Go all the way down, then you turn around and come all the way back in the rows you've already got. Get those three done. What? I will here in a little bit. We'll, we'll use this especially while we're planting seed, Gideon. There we go. I got it for you. <laughs> Since we're down here, let's go ahead and cut off our five foot at these ends. It's one place where the marks on your, on your hoe come in handy. The head of your hoe is the beginning. Lay it down. One, two, three, four, five. Put your posts down here at the five foot. That's going to be the end of where you actually plant your corn. Hot yeah, it is. And you'll see, you'll see once we get, once this all comes together, when you cut that five foot off, your most veered off crooked spots are going to be close to the end. So now do this on your other three rows. Those posts that are on the on the inside, we're going to keep those where they're at. Even though we we moved the last the outer limit posts on, on that end, we're not going to move them on this end. And you'll see you'll see when we go to start watering, mm -hmm. we need these here, especially once your plants come up. These are going to help keep your watering hoses from uh, running up over your plants. So, you're ready to start planting corn, Caleb. What you're going to do, you got your hoe marked out in feet, right? What we're going to do is you're going to put a kernel at the beginning of your hoe. And on one side, you're going to put a kernel of corn at every tape mark. On the other half of the row, you're going to put a kernel of corn right in between those. So what that does is you got a one foot wide, you got a one foot wide double row. You got corn every foot here. You've got corn every foot here that's offset six inches. So this corn, this kernel, when it grows, it's going to have this nice big area here to itself before it starts running into the others. And this one's going to have the same area here, and this one's going to have the same area here, and it's just going to give it's going to give your corn a lot more opportunity to grow. Your field corn, you always see your rows are a lot tighter. The corn itself is always real close together. Sweet corn isn't field corn. A lot of people try to plant it the same way, and then their corn either doesn't get as good of ears or just doesn't taste as good because it's competing. Every, every corn plant is competing with every other corn plant for the limited nutrients. So you just run along, you do that the whole way. One, on, the, on one side, you put one at the tape. On one side, you put one between the tape. You go all the way down. Once you get to... To your last mark there, you just pick your hoe up, lay it down where you stopped. 
and you're in the middle doesn't have to be exactly perfect. And you pick your hoe up. Hey, Daddy, your heat strokes happen and you get sick by heat stroke. Yeah, oh, but don't worry, you're not even close to the heat stroke. Don't forget to put one back here. You didn't get the, uh, yeah, yeah, you did. Nope, you didn't. That's a pe Is that a pebble or corn? That's corn. Okay. So you've already got one at the head of your hoe, so start at your tape marks. And move on down. Not yet, Gideon. You're doing camera. You wanted to be the cameraman. Make sure you're getting get some good sight of, of how he's doing this. That means try to keep it level across there. You want a good picture that people will want to look at, right? You don't want it to be real shaky. You There's don't, a bluebird. Yep, yeah, those are bluebirds. Bluebirds are kind of awesome. I like that Sometimes there's a skull tree as well. That's exactly how you do it, all the way down. With the size of your rows and length of your hoe, the amount of seed we got. Once you get into the swing of it, you can plant all four of these rows in 20 minutes or less. It ain't too bad. Hmm. Camera man. You're getting there. So when you look through this, you want to look for a shot that people are going to say, "Hey, that's a good shot." If you're watching a video and everything's shaking all over the place, you'll stop watching it. You'll stop watching it. Yep. So. Once Caleb gets to the end of this row, we might we'll put the camera back on the tripod. And then we'll do some high speed of it going through there and we'll let you plant a little corn too, okay? You do it the way I tell you to, the way I've, you know, my methods over the years, spend the next couple of years getting good at this way, and then as you get older and you've done it a few times this way, you can start saying, hmm, I've got an idea, I want to try to tweak the way we do our corn. Then you can do it however you want it, but for now, Especially because you're starting out. I mean, you guys didn't do a whole lot in the garden with me when you were younger. You weren't very old anyway. But uh, for now, just do it. Do it like I tell you. Tweak it as you get older. That's the same way with the ham radios and everything else, you know. A lot of great, great inventions and ideas have come out of the radios, but you're starting out, you do it by the book. You do it by the book, you do it by the book, and when you're good at doing it by the book, you come up with your own methods.
So shall we gather it together? If you've got more verses, I guess we can have a hymn.